So we will be doing the rest of the scenarios for the women health. So we will finish women health today. And uh, after that, tomorrow we'll start rest of the topics, uh, dermatology, skin changes and everything, which would be taught by Radwan Ali tomorrow. So today we will finish with the women health, any of the issues related to the previous topics. If you want to ask, you can ask me now. So I would answer those concerns and uh, approach wise, so I'll be sharing general approach for the sexual health related to the woman health and what type of scenarios. I'm going to tell you top 10 scenarios which you might expect in any type of consultation, very common scenarios. So examiner love to give you very common scenarios. So I'm going to write down the most common presentations out of MLA content map that you can expect in your real life consultation or even your exam. So I want all of you to write that. So the top is discharge. So the discharges in women health. So discharges, guys, write it down. These are very important. Discharges, the patient presentations, I'm telling you. So what presentations you might able to see in MLA, what you need to, you can expect in MLA. So the top presentation is that doctor, I'm, I'm very embarrassed. I'm very embarrassed. When you will ask about embarrassment, the patient might say, doctor, I'm worried, I'm worried because this type of discharge I could feel, I could feel from my private part that discharge is coming out. So the discharges, discharges, the number one presentation I'm going to write is discharges. And that could be STI or non-STI discharges, number one. Number two is contraceptions, contraceptions. So the patient might ask about emergency contraception or the patient might ask about confidentiality of the contraception. The mm -hmm. mother might call about why you have done. So the confidentiality scenarios can come as, as well in the woman health. What else you can expect is the pap smear. Pap smear. So that is top, top scenario in which you need to understand when to do the pap smear. These type of scenarios you can expect. Okay, so I understand we have I, uh, the ebook which I have shared to uh, with you guys. It contains lot of scenarios, lot of scenarios. I need to differentiate not all of this. Right. Thank you very much. So. I, I will quickly go through the ebook. I will tell you how to use that ebook. That is very important. That mean you don't need to do all the topics and how to read that book is very important. Why? Because PLAB is going to be uh, like, is in the transition phase. We don't know what type of scenarios they can ex uh, you can expect new one, but definitely the new scenarios are coming up. I will do some of the predictions that these are the common things which might be coming into the, uh, like the teach, uh, they teach in their syllabus in uh, the, the graduates of UK. And they that is most common thing that you can expect because what they are doing, they are giving you a few of the scenarios in which you have to do the uh, examination on the real patient. So I'm going to quickly go through that whole ebook and I'll tell you that has been previously been seen in uh, PLAB2 and what things we can expect. So we will go together. So I'll tell you what type of scenarios you might expect uh, in the MLA and what scenarios already being being assessed in the uh, uh, PLAB2 pathways. Let's do it together. So I'm going to share my screen. And after that, back-to-back -back simulations we will do, uh, with any one of you who want to do simulation. So what I would do, uh, uh, anyone from the student sides who want to do as a doctor or patient, they just write in the chat box. And if your exam is nearby, I want to tell you one more most important thing in the PLAB2 is that if you start practicing in front of a lot of people, if you voluntarily tell that I want to get assessed, that is the, the, the most important part in that because when you are going to be an exam, you are going to see 32 different people, different nationalities. So I would always recommend to expose yourself to different simulation environment that will help you too. Sony, thank you, noted. I will take three, one is Sony, I need two more that uh, uh, the first one, the first one who would say two more um, for for the uh, simulation as a doctor, because you would able to see the feedback and preparation. Sonia, I want to write your, uh, thank you, PP, write your exam date. 
So I would be doing feedback according to that. Write down your exam date when is yeah, June. So only write your exam date as well. And uh, according to that, we'll do that. So first of all, the most important thing I want to tell you, that ebook, don't take it for granted. That ebook, you might it might seem like these are, they, these scenarios are not ever been seen, but I will tell you how to read it and what that ebook uh, does mean uh, in terms of women health and gynecology. So what I'm going to share that ebook. So I will tell you what are the scenarios you might expect, and what scenarios already been coming in exam. So what you would see, uh, eight progress. So, so, nice, so nice. Hello. I can see. Guys, can you yourself? Right. Yes, so right. So if you see this ebook, you can see that ebook. I have given a topic atrophic vaginitis where these topics came from this is from mla content map these topics are from mla content map so basically the patient might come with the presentation like uh, some itchiness on, on the private part uh, itchiness on the private part or the patient will say that this 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 you need to understand what is presentation that would be in your head like a dd however it didn't came you just need to know how to ask questions how to do out red flags and everything you need to go through however this presentation haven't come but if you just read that presentation and you read if it comes how you will tell the patient what it is okay what are the things you will do you just need to skim through that 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 one the first one, you just need to skim through that because what we have done, we are writing according to the MLA content map, what they have given. But I'm going to highlight this thing, the bacterial vaginosis. This bacterial vaginosis has been already assessed many times, many times, so the patient will come with the vaginal discharge. So it is very important you go through that. So you go through the approach and everything, you practice that and everything. Then that comes to the, uh, the possible cases, what we are giving in the book. What would be the possible presentation like 34 year old women presented a week?